It's either in the hole or a bit long. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my All right! All right, guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Break 75. As you can see, down here at the West Lancashire Golf Club, West Lanx for short. Now, this is an amazing Lynx golf course, it really is. And you actually see from the sign there, established in 1873. Next year, they celebrate 150 years, which is quite incredible. One of the oldest golf courses here in the UK. And also next year, they're actually hosting final qualifying for the Open, which is just down the road at Royal Liverpool, Point Lake. So today, I'm gonna to head out and see if I can break 75. The part of the golf course is 72. Off the tees we're playing off today is about 7,000 yards. And I've got mixed emotions about this place. If you remember back in the day when I used to do open, we used to do Quest for the Open, so I used to come down and do open qualifying. Failed miserably every time I tried it. And it kind of brings like this kind of nervous energy into me. Like it feels like, I remember those days where I used to get super, super nervous playing open qualifying. Why I'm saying it's got mixed emotions this venue right here, in fact, the 17th hole, which is not far from where we stood right now, is the location of my only ever hole in one, which actually happened in open qualifying, I think it was like five years ago now. So let's go and see if we can play a good round of golf. I'm gonna let you into a little secret. I've just been hitting golf balls on the range. I've just been hitting some putts on the putting green. I don't think I've ever hit it as bad before around the golf in my life. I've just hit it horrendously. I'm working on a few things in my swing. I've hit it atrociously. And literally on the putting green, even just practice putting, I didn't hold a bean. So I don't know how today's gonna go. Either way, I think you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah. So I'm playing with Guy today as well. Um, so I think he'll probably have his own objectives of trying to break something like 80. I'm sure he'll want a little challenge match against me as well. Um, He's got, a, he's got a good chance today, I'll tell you, because the way I've just been hitting it. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. Break 75, West Lanks, first hole, par four, dog leg right. Let's see if we can smash it. Right, without bigging this up too much, this is possibly one of the most intimidating opening holes you can possibly play. <laughs> Isn't it, guys? <laughs> it is, that's not what you want to hear from no. your playing partner on the first tee, so thanks for that, Rick. I, I feel like I just don't, but we'll see what happens. It's in hole. It's in the right. There's out of bounds left, there's rough everywhere, but so we can get a good one down there. That is a big bailout. But right! Look, you've hit the fairway. <laughs> that is a big bailout. <laughs> I didn't know there was someone down there for a second. Uh, the ninth hole comes in the way. I couldn't have gone any further right if I tried, but it's not left. It always helps when you're playing part and hits one that far offline because I can do it now as well. So I'll try and cut one into the fairway, see what happens. Yeah, perfect ball. That's how you hit it on this hole. Oh, <laughs> that was nailed. I don't, I don't know what it is about this place. I don't know if it's scar tissue, emotional damage, but I just, oh, just kind of takes me back to quite a number of years ago, doing things like open qualifying, being tremendously nervous and I feel like I remember that the one last time I played this hole in open quali qualifying I hit three shots off that tee three so my first one I hit three iron because it was really burnt out I pulled it left unbelievably close to out of bounds right yeah but I didn't know at the time you thought it was out of bounds so it was out of bounds I hit a provisional ball which went out of bounds left I stood on that tee with my third ball, so which would have been my fifth shot. Bearing in mind, this is open qualifying, the first hole of open qualifying. I smash it with, I think I took driver in the end, put it in those three bunkers. How chuff were you when you found your actual first? Found my first ball. And honestly, if, you, if you'd have given me a double bogey at that point, I'd have snatched your hand off. <laughs> and I think that's actually what I started with. I think I might have started with a double. But uh, yeah, it's not my favorite opening tee shot, that. And as it can tell, have it it. 150 yards right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> second shot into this first hole. And listen, I am on the fairway. Ray was right. 100% fairway hit so far. Um, complete, well, I can just see the top of the flag. It's 180 yards to the middle of the green. So I'm going to go with that number. Uh, tiny. No, I don't think the wind's going to affect it too much. I'm going to go seven iron. 
like I said, honestly, I don't know if I've ever hit as bad on the range before around the golf. So I need to kind of get that out of my mind because I don't think I hit a single shot that I actually felt good or liked, <laughs> uh, which is not always the case. Sometimes I actually go on the driving range before I play and hit some great shots. So this is new territory, but let's hope we can get past those demons. Seven nine into the first. Come on, straight down the flag. Uh, should be okay. Okay, so I am left side of the green, uh, just on the short stuff. Don't really have anything to get over, and it's the beauty of Lynx Golf, certainly for me is that I feel I can get putter on it a little bit more. You might have seen more recently, I've been trying to get wedge on the greens, wedge on the ball around the green a little bit more, but this is the last time I say this, genuinely last time I say this, I just don't know if my confidence is quite there today. But that, you're not gonna hear that off from me again. That's it, done. Up, oh, use the contours. It's gonna swing off the left once it gets onto the green. Get in. <laughs> Should have just bloody chipped it. Okay, par put now, off the left, down the hill. Ah, <sighs> you know you just play a hole and you just don't deserve a par? <laughs> yes, not very well. Yeah, good up and down, Bob. Sorry, mate. What's your goal today? Break 80, I think I heard you say that before, but yeah, for me, it's always break 80, but have fun is the main thing. Cheer you on, get you breaking 75, make a good video, hopefully. Get a hole in one on 17. Have you told the story yeah, yet? I have. I've yeah. told it, I think, three times so far. Okay, we'll get a hole in one, break 80, <laughs> and yeah, should be a good day. I can hole and off this bat tee. Look at that for you. Beautiful. I think it's just little touches like that. Whenever you can elevate a tee and actually see the surrounding areas, it's what makes a golf course for me. This. I'd say it's crazy how many wind turbines are out there. <laughs> yeah. It's unreal, isn't it? It is. You know, it's a windy venue when there's that many wind turbines. Second hole, par five. Dead straight. Couple of bunkers to catch you out, but apart from that, super, super straight. Bit pulley. Left. The long stuff. It's bouncing around. Yeah, bounced a couple of times. Hopefully fine. it's not as bad as it looks, that stuff. This might not be the internal dialogue, but I've done this tee feeling super confident, thinking mm -hmm. I'm going to hit it dead straight. I'm actually going to just pick my... I'm going to go just slightly left of those two bunkers. Wind joined me, so I was going to be on top of my ball. This should be yeah, okay then. Should be alright then. Bounced a couple of times. I feel like the rough in. Come here for a second. In certain patches, which make it visibly look very menacing, but really you're never going to hit your golf ball in this bit. You can't imagine. Um, where in other bits where you're possibly going to land the golf ball, they just thin it out enough so you at least find it. It just looks a little bit menacing. Visually, it looks harder. I'm saying that now. <laughs> I'll get down there and I'll be knee high rough and not be able to get to it. 250 yards away from the green. Second shot. We found them both. They are literally right next to each other. Uh, how do I play this shot? I think he's just a layup and a wedge on. I like let, you play. Let me. What do I, I want to leave myself 100 yards. Well, that 90 yards actually. I'm going to go A time and just just trickle one down there. Oh, that's a really well played shot. Thanks, that. Pal. That's, that's called a uh, link stinger. People will think you thin that at home, but it's actually not. <laughs> it's the Lynx rough stinger, and I might do it's one myself. Shot. It's a new shot, shot I've invented. Have. I'll teach it you. <laughs> okay, I'm basically exactly the same, as you can see. Same place as Rick. Can go for a similar vibe. I'm going to kind of chip a six iron down there and leave myself in a, hopefully, a similar yard to what Rick has got. I might play a Lynx stinger as well. Yeah, that's really nice. Proper strike. Oh, that's done well. But it's nice that this rough, like Rick's on the tee, it looks from the tee dead. But actually, if you get in here, it's not too bad. Right. 116 yards. Back straight into wind. Now, the last break 75 episode, I hit a lot of full wedges, like too many full ones, and didn't quite, well, I didn't hit them well. So today, I'm actually going to go for a slightly different strategy. Normally, I'd go for a full gap wedge here. I'm going to try and chip a little pitching wedge in there. Oh, that wind is strong. 
Nothing's quite feeling right. That strike was awful again. It's a little bit skinny. Just or... dead light. It just feels not a centered hit. Like my hand came off the club, and I'm looking up thinking, oh, that's going to be way offline, or you know. Yeah. And I'm looking, I think actually that's all right, but then obviously it's come up short. Yeah, I just can't quite find my my strike today so far. Okay, so I've got 96 yards, which for me would normally be like a three quarter 50 degree wedge. But that wind, you probably won't tell on camera, but that, well, obviously you won't see the wind on camera. You won't hear it, I don't think, but it's quite strong in too. So I'm actually going to kind of chip a pitching wedge. I saw Rick's come up well short. So float a pitching wedge up, try and get it somewhat close. It's a bit blocky. It's okay. Not ideal, but okay. Okay, this is to try and get some birdie sauce going. Stay up. I was always a bit low, that. Oh, great roll. Cheers. Okay. So salvage a par. Right to left, slightly up the hill. Not feeling it today. Yeah, good put. Par three, third hole, beautiful little hole. Um, I, I always like an elevated tee on a par mm. three. Yeah, just kind of maps it out for you. It looks like it's four bunkers, two at the two at the front, two at the right, and then kind of a a grassy bunker on the left. Pins middle left into breeze. Okay, soft eight iron, three quarter eight iron. Oh, that's nice. Just slightly right of the flag, but it's actually getting closer and closer. It's have enough lags though. That was my one yeah. concern. I like that in the air. I always thought it was slightly on the short side. But it's all right. Was that oh, just a chippy eight, that? It was a three quarter that was probably hit 90% of the, what it should have been. Yeah. So I think if you hit a chippy one, you'll get it there fine. I'm going to start it over the drone and draw it in. Oh, he's called it. I think this could be a hole in one. No, it's... If it spins a lot. Yeah, nice shot. Thanks, Bob. Very professional. Thank you. So Rick's shot was really nice. He's got a genuine chance at a bird here, which I'd love him to get to kind of steady the ship a little bit. I've got probably two and a half times the length of Rick's. I've got a 35 footer. I'd like to hold it, obviously, but I think this is more of one of those. Just put it in the dustbin lid and then take a nice par and move on. That's thin. Oh my goodness. I'll hold it. I'll take the hole. Can't miss. <laughs> <laughs> what a start. Yeah, it's a good put that. Really nice. Up the hill, slightly right to left. Oh, I'm okay. I wish I hadn't practiced before I played today. <laughs> I've literally stood over everything, not having any level of confidence. Weirdly, so weird. Fourth hole, par four, 411 yards. At the moment, guy's got a three shot lead. He's one under, I'm two over. I need to pull my socks up. Try and hit a little cut. Left side of the fairway and just bring it in a little bit. Very nice. That's a good one. Got one, one today. Great ball. Thank you. Might be a bit too much. Yeah, I'd be fine that. Feels like <laughs> I don't want to keep saying it. I feel like it's gonna be one of those days. I've hit it right, granted. Come on, look at this for a lie. And this is what you get to links, it's just links type of golf. I found myself. I, I wouldn't I'm not even saying that's an old divot because it's too big. It's just like a landscape. Um, pin I can just see the top of. God. I'm going to go nine iron. Ow. God, feels like it's kicking me while I'm down this golf course at the moment. That's gone nowhere. I've managed to advance it about 20 yards and I saw it go into an app, an even worse lie. God. <coughs> oh. Oh. Well, to go from that lie to an even worse lie is quite incredible. Okay, horrible little lie this. 100 yards away, pins right at the back. Oh my goodness. Wowzers. Genuinely, today, 
at the moment how it's going and how I'm feeling, I honestly, honestly don't see me shooting less than 90. Feels like it's really kind of, just doesn't feel right. My body doesn't quite feel right today. Goodness me. Okay, for bogey. Mm. For sake. Four holes played, four over par. Going well. Fifth hole, par five. Not a long one. Only 400 and, well, less than 480 yards. Um, Smashing down there. Iron uh, Yeah, I'm just thinking those bunkers could be in driving range. Yeah. So I thought, I know it's a bit of a silly play, but hit a good driving goal on one of them, it's going to, best case, be a par. Yeah. A good three iron to win behind could still be a birdie chance. I don't know, it might be a silly decision. I might live to regret this one. <sighs> Not the best hit, but it should be. Yeah, it'll be a shot to the green from there, I reckon. I can see it. I think you will clear all that with the driver in here, won't you? I, don't, I can't quite remember. Um, on the watch, it's saying it's right in range. Oh my God. Where are you going? If you hadn't ever given that reaction, I'd thought you'd absolutely nailed that. Where it's like, yeah, I think it's all right. What did you do wrong? Just hit it. Yeah, you wouldn't have told. Not the greatest strike off the tee, but I've actually got away with it. Down the right hand side, <clears throat> I've actually only got 100, 100, less than 150 yards into the green. Slightly down breeze. I'm going to hit a pitching wedge on the front, let it run up. Ah, oh, yeah. It's right. <laughs> bunker. F hell. Okay, bunker. Third shot. I'm looking at it, it goes to the back of the bunker. It's nice and flat lie. Let's knock it in. Spin hard. It's all right. Touch of a baby elephant. Birdie down the hill. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, silly hole there, haven't we? We yeah, have. Silly hole. Big, big chance of birdies that, and chance is not taken. Okay, six hole, par three, beautiful one. Straight back into the wind, playing 163, but probably playing more like 175, if not a tiny bit more. Uh, I'm going to try and knuckle in a seven iron. I like that shape. Stay there now. Uh, yeah, it's a good shot. Thank you. I'm going to try and go with like a three quarter six iron. I think the actual distance for me should be a seven, really, but that wind is it's quite strong. So, go with a three quarter six. Oh, I've turned it over. Not a very good one, that. Right, oh, it's in the thick stuff. Oh, mm, hard. Guy Charnix, how not to play par threes, part one. <laughs> this is one of the reasons why Lynx course is so hard. I bet that shot pin high. Now, obviously this deserves to have missed the green, clearly, it's too far left. But there's not many courses, certainly park gun courses, where a shot that's only this far off line would result in almost an impossible golf shot, which this is. So, I don't even know how to stand to this. If I do stand on the wrong piece of grass, that ball may just fall away from me, which obviously be a penalty. Now I'm doing the splits. That's tricky, that part. This is insane. God, even just hitting this, I'd be happy with. Oh. Wow. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's one of the best golf shots of my life. Are you Thank kidding you me? <laughs> Look at where I'm stood. Unreal shot from Guy there. I can't believe how good he played. <laughs> I've got this look at birdie. They're hitting a really nice iron shot, actually. I didn't think it was going to be this close. I feel like for this round of golf to, can, to let's say, be resuscitated, dug up from the graves, a couple of birdie putts needs to drop. Let's start here right now. Oh, such a good roll. <laughs> I've got a testing par putt. <laughs> she will get it. Come on, the class up and down. Okay. Hit it with confidence. Wowzers. What an up and down. I'm very, very happy. That was out of the blue. I'm surprised, but very, very happy with that one. Yeah, that's unreal. 
Yeah, two pars. <laughs> oh, this game is hurting me today. Golf is hard, don't forget that. Seventh hole, par four, sling into the right. Um, there's a com safe way of playing it, which is iron to the corner and wedge it on, or there's the non-safe way of playing it. Go with driver, straight for it. No idea. Oh, it should be really good. To me, that looks like it's in the middle of nowhere, but I don't know. It should be like front edge of the green. So, after a near perfect drive, I put myself in a A1 position, little chip up to the front edge of the green. Yeah, doing a nice little shot. Let's knock it in. Go a bit more. Ah, it's not terrible, but I want it to be. I wanted a tap in birdie. That was the goal, but we've got a few feet away. Three or four feet. Okay, birdie put. Tiny bit right to left. Come on, Rick. Not this one in. Come on. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Great three. That was nice. Good drive. Nice little pitch. Hold put. Back to three over par. The show goes on. <laughs> the show goes on. Eighth hole, par four, 443 yards. Second hardest hole in the golf course, apparently. Wind behind, which is going to help. Uh, slight dog leg left. It's a really nice hole, this. Um, just This is just true links, isn't it? When you stood up on a tee as Unbelievably. Well, and you yeah. can feel the wind, it's really, it is true links. So um, it's kind of hard to picture a shot off this tee, so you've got to pick a line and trust it. A little baby draw down there. Oh, that's great. That looks perfect. Yeah, that is. Fantastic, great shot. A1. We're getting something back, ladies and gentlemen. That actually felt somewhere, somewhere near the middle of the club face, which is nice. 28 to the front of the green. Blind shot here, just out the rough. Um, I'm gonna try and land this about 120 and hopefully it kind of trickles up. Oh, that's a bit too short, I think. Oh no, it's on the green. Might have struggled to stay on the green though. It's like my little backwards run there, by the way. <laughs> okay, big, big, big putt from back here. The ball just never stopped. I think it landed on the green, but just kept going and going and going. So it's quite a bit up right to left, uphill. Let's try and knock it nice and close. That's a great putt. Thanks. Happy with that. Okay, for par. Quite a bit of break on this still, just in, just on the left edge. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ninth hole. Par four, slight dog way to the left. You want to be just right at the clubhouse. Okay. So, on that kind of end house, really. From memory. Well, that's perfect again. This driver's on today. Back again. That's should, should be from memory that should be perfect. Be responsible for that. I thought that was a line. Hence why I hit it on it. Okay, so in the thick stuff, not lying particularly well. Got 103 yards to the front of the green. That's where I've really got to try and land this. This could yeah, be nice good. Kick. Slightly up the hill. Right to left. Come on, nice putt. Simmer. Great for speed, but I've misread that a little bit. I did coming from right to left a little bit more, and it's, as it go over this hill, it definitely moved more to the right. Okay, for par, right to left, slightly down the hill. Oh, unlucky. It's never come off, no speed. It's a really silly bogey. <laughs> Four over for the front nine there. I feel really a bit deflated after that bogey, actually. That was a silly one. Okay, entering the back nine. I'm four over par after a terrible start and then a really stupid three put on the last hole. That's a little bit, to be honest with you. But means we've got to shoot two under back nine to break 75. Not impossible, but Wind's starting to pick up. Guys, three over. He's playing some steady golf. Let's do it. <laughs> Lovely hell finish. I don't know what that even was. It was, it was like a thinny, toppy... 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, great hit. He's come to play. Back nine is on. Back nine is on. Two under, that's what we're going for. Might need another hole in one on 17 to achieve it, but done it once. I'll probably never do it again, but I've done it once. There go, ball. We need to get through these next couple. Come on, A time, middle of the green. Give myself a good chance for birdie. Draw in a bit. That actually should be all right. If it's not on the green, it's just, just off. Hi. <laughs> Still nowhere near the green. 120 yards left to go. Howling into the face. Chippy nine iron. Up and down for bogey. Come on, we can do it. I think that's short as well. This, this is going to take me five goes to get on the green in a par four. Let's try and roll one close. Yeah. Very nice. Ah, starting that back nine with a par. Okay, 11th hole, par five, 560 yards, but comfortably playing over 600 yards today with this wind. And to make it a little bit more daunting, the right hand side is a railway, not to be messed with. Oh, that's money. Sometimes I think you should be on the tour. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very big. I can't think of a Saki comment about that. <laughs> Could you agree? You hit that and you thought, I should be on the tour. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like 120 yards shorter than a tour player, but it's, it's straight. DP World Tour. That was a Healy one. It's a Healy, fadey, slicey. Look, it's in bounds. It's all right. Just. I'm going to try and make some birdies. Par five, after hitting, honestly, I've hit a really good tee shot there. I'm still 306 yards to the middle of the green. Um, I've not got a great deal of strategy here, bar hit my three iron to about maybe 220 yards into wind and have about 80 or 90 yards left into the flag. That's the, the plan. Oh, that's absolutely awful. <laughs> For some reason, halfway during my backswing then, I'm thinking, don't smack it on the railway. Not a good mindset, is it? Okay, so after a pretty poor second shot, I've left myself 124 yards away from the flag. Uh, in the rough, not sat too bad, into wind. So what, I'm 124, right into wind. That would normally be a gap wedge. But I feel like it's a two club wind now. So I'm gonna hit a, hit a nine iron and, and I mean almost just, I'm gonna flight it down a fraction, but not far off full. Just a little draw one, just a little knock down drawy shot. Be good for distance. That's still not got there. Oh, oh, <laughs> I thought I hit that perfect. And it's, it's on the green, but that's still a good 20 foot short. Oh, I thought that was perfect. Birdie putt. Up the hill, right to left. Come on, I really need to do something special. Hold one big putt. <laughs> what? Yeah, I think I've completely misread that. Like, could not have misread it anymore. Wow. Eight. Can't afford to drop any shots this back nine. But this one, if it missed, would really sting. So it's not going to do right to left. Yeah, very nice. Thanks. 12th hole, par three, 176 yards. Somehow, logic doesn't make sense here because the wind should, from the last hole, should be off the right, but it's now straight back into wind. Got a rifle of four there. Yeah, they get rifled. It's gone for the little turnover vibe. Needs to not go any more left. That's not good. Little bit further away than I hope to be. Down the hill, trickle it in. Everyone at home wants to hold this, so Everybody. please just, just hold it. There's no reason not to. Oh, I've been pushing the arse off Ah, shields. Silly bogey. It's 
weirdly, I'm sure there's a little water hazard. There is, there's red stakes for sure. But I feel but... like that kind of comes in a bit more. Okay, I was uh, panicking and worrying that I was going to be in this ditch. And then I thought to myself, actually, I'm now panicking. I'm, I'm over there in that really thick stuff. However, I am in a ditch, but I don't think I need to panic. This is the ditch, but luckily it's dry. Okay, 100 yards to the front of the green. I've got my gap wedge because it's back into wind. Get up. Oh, is that just a few yards short? Yeah. Let's chip it in. I seem to keep doing that a lot. I'm actually getting good, better connection. Yeah. It's always flaring a bit right or left. <sighs> Bloody hell. Beautiful. Should be good. B E A, beautiful. So, after hitting a wonderful tee shot, even if I do say so myself, I'm 122 yards away from the flag. Down breeze. Yeah, I'm gonna have to chip, play a chippy little 50 degree in. Come on. Let's give everyone something to cheer about. Funny game, isn't it? After a dreadful pitch. Front of the green, little chip. Miles away. <sighs> what a silly, silly bogey. Fifteenth. Oh. Um, after three bogeys on the bounce, 75 is definitely out of the equation. Let's try and finish strong with four to go. Uh, this is a good hole. It's a par four and it hugs the railway line. If you're adventurous, you can hit a little cutty driver down there. Let's see if we can make this somewhat respectable still. Seven over par now. Very nice. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, brilliant. It's a better strike. Oh. Stay up. Stay up. Oh, it can't go that oh, way. Oh, the pot. <laughs> Stay there. Should be all right. Yeah, it's a bit of the left. Cracking drive. Cheers. Yeah, that's a great one. That'll run and run and run. I'm going to try and hit a really hard six iron. Oh no, clear all the bunkers. Yeah, just got past the bunkers, but bad strike. Didn't have the, didn't have the guns for getting out of there. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Absolutely horrendously terrible. Try and bump a nine iron, get it running down up the hill into the flag. Very much a link shot this. I don't know if it's the right shot to play, but I'm gonna try it. Slow. Was the right shot, just obviously overhit it. Not too bad though from there. Absolutely horrendous. Oh, choo choo. Yep. Oh, keeping the dream alive and breaking 80. <laughs> Friends, come here.
Come, just come here for a minute. Okay, let me just turn you. 17th West Lancashire Golf Club. This, right here from this very tee, 196 yards, back in 2017. This is where I stood in open qualifying. Hit my beautifully struck seven iron to the pin, and I'm not joking, exactly where the pin is right now as we're playing it today. It floated beautifully in the air. Little draw, middle of the green it landed. It took the contour, it took the break, and it dropped in for my one and only hole in one. Insert picture here of me stood next to the flag. Frustratingly, there's loads of people around. Nobody had it on video, but it is true, it happened. So, we're here to recreate. Good memories on this tee. I remember when I hold it, I threw my hat up in the air and it went over there somewhere and loads of people were running round and it was going berserk. So this is it, seven iron again, similar wind. Yeah, this, come on, this is, I'm feeling this. I probably swore to myself I'd never play this hole again, but here we are. Come on, I can picture it. I can quite literally picture it going in. Oh, that is absolutely Tell you what, that has actually got a chance as well. That's ridiculous. Break. Go on. Is that not outrageously close? I think it's just gone a little bit long, but I'm not sure. I'll have to check. That literally could I'm be in the hole. Yeah. Can you see it on the camera zoom? It's either in the hole or a bit long. Can you see it? Yeah, just that. Oh. Seven the right club, there, obviously. Look that. <laughs> I can't believe my stomach how, was going. My how stomach was similar going. that shot was. It was almost the identical goal shot. <laughs> the only thing then, if that had gone in, which I would have absolutely loved, it would have almost seemed fake. It would have done. It was almost like the same pin, the same tee, the same club that I hit, not the same actual iron that's framed at home with the golf ball I got it, got it with. <laughs> I would love a hole in one here. It's a good hole to get one on. No, oh, pulled it. No worries about that one going in. Do you even see it down? I actually can't believe how close, how similar my shot was to the shot. It, it mad like positive no, mental yeah. attitude. It's insane. It's so true, it really does work. Walking down here now, like I say, such good memories. I remember holding it and my heart was racing and just loving life. Honestly, this shot that I've just hit was outrageously similar and almost the same result. Come have a look at this. So as it's come onto the green, it's pitched exactly where I envision it pitching here. I'll repair that in a minute and just come have a look at this. So it's skirted just past the flag, finished behind the hole. I, I, I'm genuinely not exaggerating this. This is exactly from memory, exactly the same pin position five years ago when I got my hole in one. That's crazy. Let's hope we can knock this in for a two. Wow, good memories. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much. That was such a good shot from there. Okay, the birdie. Up the hill, left to right. Come on. This would be nice. Oh, not been firing at all on full cylinders, not even close. Pa. Okay, last hole of this somewhat mentally draining round of golf. It has been draining. <laughs> it really has. It's been fun, but draining. I kind of knew that, I, I certainly felt before I played and maybe the wrong mindset. I didn't think it was going to be a good day playing wise. I need to make par on the last to shoot 79. <sighs> That'll be somewhat of a, well, respectable, I guess, score. Straight down the clubhouse. <laughs> Mr. Bunker. This is that bunker. It's 
Good. Missed the bunker. Oh, it landed straight in it. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, I'm going to try and fade it off Rick's bunker and split the fur away. A bit left of them, that should yeah, be okay. Should be fine. Okay, frustrating, but that's why they're here. That's why bunkers have been placed so cleverly. I'm supposed to avoid them, and I've not. Uh, there's a lip. It's a substantial size, but there's no way I'm laying up, so I might as well just go for it. I'm 130 yards to the front of the green, 150 to the middle, and the pin probably is nearer to 150. Ah, it's, if it was here, not an issue to get over that lip. This is just a smidgen close, but let's give it a go. Miss everything. Miss the bunker. What's that hit? I don't know. Maybe Pringle head or something, or the back of something. <laughs> I've literally hit an unbelievable wedge shot. Like ridiculous. I didn't even think I'd get out of the bunker. I somehow clipped it perfect. It's landed left hand side of the green and kicked off something really hard and shot miles left. <laughs> I just can't, I can't even. I just need to, yeah, finish this round of golf, I think, before it finishes me. My ball has finished right down there. I can only presume. It's literally hit this sprinkler head here and gone down into this bank. Oh my God, crazy game. Okay, up and down needed to break 80. Not been, not been a good day at the office, I'm afraid, but an up and down here would make things a little bit better. I'm gonna just try and land it on the top of the green. A bit skinny, a little bit skinny. I had to go for it. Had to try and get a bird in the last. Okay, so for a power on the last and to shoot 79. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash like, subscribe. Let's hope this goes in for a 79. Dreadful. Thumbs <laughs> up my round. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll see you next week. I need to go and practice. Peace. Thanks to West Lanks. It was beautiful. <laughs> ah, shower.